is up retromaniacs my name is mike his name is ep his name is joe and we are here not to give you one not to give you two we're giving you three cards you need in your retro pc i started off you know this card might be controversial to some watching but my card this week is the 1995-96 Donruss Elite Hockey. If you're combining acetate cards and you're combining die-cut cards and you're combining goalie cards, you get that. It is the Painted Warriors set out of the 95-96 Donruss mm -hmm. Elite. This one is the one I have actually had in my stuff. It is the Felix Potvin card, numbered out of 2,500, you see on the back there. There were actually 10 of these cards in the set. I mean, it has Patrick Waugh, has Martin Brodeur, as mm -hmm. Ed Belfour. Like, it has the who's who of the time. I mean, these are just great. Like, these are one of the coolest looking insert sets I think were ever made. Like, and you, you put a goalie mask, a like it's just fantastic i don't know how you could do it any better they were one in 48 packs back in the day so this card is about i don't know six dollar card on com c uh for a felix pot then card that's really not too bad the waz and bro doors of course they're a little more expensive but i i just think like again to look at this card and then look at stuff they make nowadays like they could make cards like this, but they choose not to. There's just no imagination with what they put out. And I, I love this kind of stuff. Die cut and acetate, I'm in. That's my card this week. They could oh, do man. It with football helmets. Like, why they don't do that with... Yeah. Like, and they have done them with football helmets in the yeah. past, too. Like, yeah. so much stuff out there they could do. But, yes. Um, Man, like, do you remember if Wa was in his uh, Hurricanes or... Canadians at that point. Mm. I think he's still Canadians think, at that point, right? I think he might be in the Avalanche. I was, I I was, swear her, avalanche I was gonna yeah, say the Avalanche. Yeah, avalanche. I swear yeah, avalanche to God on my life. Because I only, only only collect them with the the Avalanche um in the Avalanche. He, he has one they did these for a couple of years, so okay. I I know for one hundred percent certain he has one in okay. the Avalanche. I'm right. not certain if it started in ninety five, like that's right okay. around the time, but I do think he was with the Avalanche by then but i know he has one with the avalanche whether it's 95 or the 96 okay i'm gonna have to get we'll get one of those and also the perdura obviously so, great cards yeah all right what awesome. do you have for us ep all right i was excited about this last week i'm excited about it now um this is an iconic card for kind of a wrong reason also a great reason it's the 2001 bowman oh the gal cabrera rookie <laughs> yes. card featuring the photo of denny bautista um, Carrera is like, he was like the, the first person to hit the triple crown in the American League since like 1967 and 500 yeah. home runs, 3,000 hits. And he, one of his most, what should have been, will be one of his most expensive and iconic cards, doesn't even have him on it. Not even on the back, even on the back. So, Danny Batista. So, wow. iconic card, very, very inexpensive. Uh, it's like five, to, like five to ten dollars or so. One went for like 30 bucks, which is crazy. Yeah. But like the Bowman Crumbs are selling for like four bucks. So this is a, the regular paper. So you can probably if you get it on auction. You can probably get it for like three, four bucks, the Chrome and the, the regular base. And it's really, in my opinion, like it's, again, we talk about the snapshots. This is a, a, a sad snapshot from Miguel Cabrera, but a fun <laughs> yeah. snapshot if you're a collector of this, this kind of card. So. Yeah. Swing and a miss on that one. <laughs> like for sure. How, like how much do you really like, I, I feel like the value of that card is clearly impacted by the fact that mm -hmm. it's not him on the card. <laughs> so right. like, you know, I did a PSA return the other day and that happened to the 1992 tops WCW set, mm -hmm. but oh, yeah, the, they the, the, actually like the Ronnie Garvin was actually Scott, Scott Hall, but yeah. yeah, it actually worked out kind of for the better and it has value because it has the actual picture of the guy who said was the rookie card it is on it but yeah what a big miss on that card and what a shame because yep. one right. of the all-time right. greats and that's mm. his first bowman yeah okay. i mean well un uh, luckily no he, he has like a 2000 like his 2000 tops and tops traded and tops chrome traded which are technically his rookie cards yeah so his rookie cards are safe but this again would be one of the top cards wait 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 the Did XRC. Eric Pahalik just say it, a Topps traded was a rookie I card? Heard that. I th what it, universe but, are we living in? It, but wasn't it in 2000, 2000? Did they do packs of? No. It was, no, was it 2001 they did. Oh, geez. Okay, they're, yeah. they're XRCs then. 
Yeah. Jeez, yeah, so he doesn't have a real rookie card. You're right. It's <laughs> terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> what a downer. Let's get in the machine and go back and fix that. <laughs> All right, Joe, wrap us up. All right, I'm going back to 1994. Whoa, okay. I have this card, but I, I'm hungover from the live stream, so I didn't go and pull it out of the box. But... You're hungover from the after party. <laughs> from the after party of the live yeah. stream. Um, 1994, top stadium club, Bowman's Best. Emmett Smith, Bam Morris, mm. dual card. The Bowman's Best wasn't its own set until, was it 95 or 96? Like 95, I think? It might have been Sounds 95, right. yeah. So it was an insert set in Top Stadium Club beforehand, and they were such cool inserts because Top Stadium Club was just paper cards. Mm. So to get these, like, chrome cards, they came one per three packs. I looked it up this morning. The refractor version, you got two per box, the refractor versions are so much better. Spend the extra money. Get the refractor <laughs> version. They look so much better. You can get the plain version of this card for like $5. You can get the refractor for like 10 bucks or so. So nice. spend the extra money and yeah. get the refractor. There, It's like a 40-card set, too. So you don't have to be limited by the Emmett Smith, Bam Morris requirement that I set forth. The only reason <laughs> I picked that card is those two players went head-to-head -head in the first ever Mike Supper Deck League One Championship. I don't remember that. And Bam Morris came out on top. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> was he the I one have... that led the way, or was was he the one that was the reason there was, why? There or... was someone else that led that way. But uh, okay. no. Uh, uh, and Bam Morris is a stealer. He ended his career as a Raven, so it's kind of kind of a, a funny card like that. But who to think to pair up Emmett Smith with Bam Morris? <laughs> of all, all the running backs in the NFL, well, Emmett Smith, Bam Morris. It's a snapshot in time. It I really mean, is. It yeah. made sense back in the day. Might yeah. not so much now, but I happen to have the refractor version, the double refractor Ooh. version of that. Yes. Card, it's, so. nice. it's a great card. Yeah. Hit me up if anybody's looking for it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Again, unintentional. Like that's two weeks in a row. You're like, I have those cards. <laughs> anyone's looking unintentional. He's on the payroll. So. <laughs> All right, guys. Great choices this week, and we will be back next week. See you guys. See you, boys. See you.